Hi everyone, this is Julia and you're watching Julia at Home. Today I am going to be talking about um, Oceania. Um, some people will just say Australia. I'm saying Oceania because we're including Australia as well as Papua New Guinea, New Zealand, and a lot of the other island nations that are part of um, Oceania in general. And um, yeah, so and I'm actually starting today by showing you my daughter's passport and the Oceania page. Um, the two flags we have for this unit were Australia and New Zealand. And then the animal she chose was the kangaroo. I actually neglected to get a book on kangaroos from the library, so we watched a video instead. There was a National Geographic, National Geographic uh, Kids video on kangaroos that I found on YouTube. Um, and it was well done and I learned a lot. So we watched that. I printed out a free coloring page for her and we wrote down some facts. Um, that was the animal for this continent that we studied. Of course, we actually ended up reading a lot of books about different Australian animals just because um, Mem Fox has some beautiful books about Australian animals and you can't really go wrong with them. So with that being said, let's get to the books. We're calling it Oceania and we're starting it with a study of the country of Australia. Um, this is a beautiful book, Where the Forest Meets the Sea. And it's, um, it's about a rainforest on the edge of the sea in Queensland, Australia. And these are made, these are pictures of collages that the artist did, the illustrator did, um, after traveling to that forest, the rainforest there. Um, and you can see where it takes place up here. Um, but it's also about, you know, childhood wonder and also about preserving these beautiful wild places. Um, but it's not, it's not super heavy or, you know, it's pretty short and it's mainly got these beautiful collages. Um, my daughter enjoyed finding the, so he's like imagining a crocodile there, right? She enjoyed finding all those things in the pictures. So that's a nice one, whether you're studying Australia or it could be great for a study on, um, you know, the rainforest as a biome or um, also for conservation. If you're studying environmental conservation and preservation of wild areas, that's a good choice. So excuse this, I got a used copy and almost always I have good luck getting used copies of books, but this was an exception. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about this. I still read it to the kids because I didn't. I didn't want to try to get another one. Um, and it's just, uh, I, you've seen this series before if you've watched some of my other geography videos. It's If You Were Me and Lived in Australia. And it's not a story, again, it's just um, some facts. Kind of gives you a nice introduction. And it has some colorful pictures. They're honestly not my favorite series. Um, they're not something that I want to read over and over again. Um, they're, I don't think they're what you would call a living book but they are short and a good introduction to the countries. This is Big Rain Coming. And this is more so about the Outback. I like how this has drawings um, that has the, the illustrations, oh, you can even see it there, um, look like, um, you know, Aboriginal and, and Native Australian um, art. And it goes through they're waiting for rain. So it's it's a short it's a short story. It introduces you to some of the animals there in the outback and what some of the people might do. And it's really just fun pictures. Um, that's big rain coming. Now we have a whole lot of animal books. <laughs> So this one's Possum Magic, and this is my daughter's favorite. Um, and I think almost all of them, most of them, are by Mem Fox. And this is about uh, Grandma and Baby Possum, and it's cute. And not only do you see pictures and learn about, you know, of, of some of the other Australian animals, but you learn about some of the food as you go. There's a Vegemite sandwich. Now I actually have spent some time in Australia and I tried Vegemite. I didn't particularly like it. I don't know why it didn't occur to me to see if I could find Vegemite here, but if um, you are doing a study of Australia and 
you know, I would recommend that. <laughs> I stayed with the family there and it definitely was a popular, um, a popular item. And so it could be fun to find that and try it. And if I was going to do that again, I might try to make some more of these um, dishes. And then it shows you at the back a map of where they found. So, so it incorporates different things about Australia. And I really enjoy this one. It, it's super fun. Um, the possums are cute. <laughs> so you, can't, you really can't go wrong. Um, but as I was saying, it, it goes through what these different food items are. And next time I might try to find and or make some of them. Because um, that would be really fun. This is Koala Lou. It's another Mem Fox book about a little koala. And it's just really cute. Yeah, Koala Lou Mem Fox. Um, these are not, are the, there's two here that are not Mem Fox, and it's these ones Diary of a Wombat. The wombat is also adorable. <laughs> And it's literally just told, like, what does the wombat do each day? And um, living near this family. And it's a fun, it's a fun book, for sure. And you actually learn quite a bit about wombats while you're doing it. Like, what they do, what they like to eat. They sleep a lot. Um, and it's got cute pictures. And then to go along with this is the diary of a baby wombat. Um, and there's also a baby human in this. And so my children enjoyed it. Because who doesn't like baby wombats with baby humans? Yep. And then this one, we're back to Mem Fox, is also about a wombat. It's Wombat Divine. But it doesn't teach you so much about wombats. It's more so a Christmas story. So you could just pull this out for Christmas. Or you could do it with your Australian study. As it does have a lot of the Australian animals in it. But yeah, it would definitely be a fun one to pull out during, you know, Christmas time. And that is Wombat Divine. I think that is the last of the books for Australia. So I'm moving on to my stack for New Zealand. This is a Kiwi year. So we got to talk about how the Kiwi is, um, it's a flightless bird. Sorry for the noise. The kiwi is a flightless bird that um, is native to New Zealand. And it's kind of their um, symbol. You can actually, I think that's a kiwi there. Um, and then we talked about how sometimes New Zealanders are called kiwis. And now this, this goes through the year. Um, and it's different kids and kind of, they all say statements. So it's not really a story. Um, and I do prefer ones that are a story, but it was actually harder to find books um, on New Zealand. And so this was a really, I mean, it definitely gives you a feel for what they like to do there, some of the food, some of the culture. Sorry, my um, camera cut out there for a minute, but um, I was saying that in the future, I would also look for um, more books and information on the Maori culture as I think that would be something um, fun to explore. And I think with older kids, that might be easier to find something for them on that. But this was great. It's a Kiwi year, 12 months in the life of New Zealand's kids. Now we're back to these old standbys. <laughs> so here is at the end. Oh, um, This is the Fish of Maui. Now, those of you who have seen Moana, might be somewhat familiar with Maui now, or if you live in this area of the world and you've heard of Maui, or for another reason. Um, but it was fun to read this picture, this this book, as my, my kids have seen Moana. Um, and we actually, after we were done studying this on our last day of school, we watched Moana for fun as a treat. Um, which for me was kind of like a treat and school in one, because there is some fun stuff there about... Um, how they were voyagers and how they would travel and the wayfarers and all that. Um, so this is a fun, fun story, The Fish of Maui. And then the last one here is another story from New Zealand from our favorite stories from around the world. Rona and the Moon. Yep. So... Some fun books there. 
This last book um, was their book to finish up our study of geography. And I thought it was perfect for this purpose because it is about five brothers who find the island of Hawaii. And Hawaii is a, obviously a state in the United States. So we're coming back full circle to where we started in the United States where we live in North America. But also has a lot in common with the, um, you know, the islands in Oceania and in the Pacific, you know, all the Pacific islands there. Um, so I thought it was it was a good way to circle back as well as um, kind of close the loop <laughs> of that of that of the, you know still we're still talking about the same culture um, and it's a really well done story. So it's about these five brothers and they use their different skills, different um, wayfaring skills of reading the stars and sun and moon. Um, the waves, the clouds, the wind, and and birds, watching the birds. And they all work together to find the land below the star, which ends up being ends up being Hawaii. Again, beautiful pictures. I think they're watercolor, which is perfect for this story. That was our final book of our of our unit. Um, I hope you've enjoyed these videos in general and uh, this little look into what we've um, the books we've used for Oceania. If you did like it, please click the thumbs up button below. And um, if you want to see more videos on homeschooling and um, other home related things, um, please subscribe. Thanks. Mm -hmm.